Hello and welcome. We are putting pyramid studs onto this leather bracelet today. So what I want to do um, is just put one straight row just like this um, onto this plain black leather bracelet. Now pyramid studs are the most difficult to set and that's because of the square base. Any misalignment, any slight deviation uh, from one to another and uh, you know having that nice tight row kind of can look sort of sloppy if you don't have a good technique to get those prongs and get them all fitted uh, properly. So what I'm going to show you guys is better than the previous method that I showed you, um, primarily because we're going to change some of the tools that we're using. Now what you're seeing me do right now, and by the way, um, I'm Matt Rezac from leatherpunk.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, what you're watching me do right now is I'm just kind of scoring out, putting little marks on the leather where I want these pyramids to be set, where the prongs are going to slip into the leather. Um, now the big difference between this technique that I'm showing you and the previous one, in the previous method um, we used an awl to penetrate through the leather and, and prepare it for the prongs. Uh, we're not going to use an awl. Um, the awl is rounded, prongs are flat and wide, so we want something that sort of mimics that shape. And what you can actually use is just a regular straight razor blade. So watch what I do here. Um, now if you can see, we're going to dive right in. Um, you can see I have these little marks. Like I said, this is mapping out where I want the prongs to go, so I'm going to set my razor blade not directly on there, I'm going to go just a little bit away from me because the blade is, it's only edged on this side, not this side, so it's going to cut in this direction towards me. So I want to start off a little bit high and we're going to just push down nice and easy. Once you get your rhythm, you'll find that this goes pretty quick. and. I'm using a fresh razor blade. If you are going to do this, you need to also be prepared to change your razor blades frequently. Don't get cheap here because um, you know it should cut like butter. Also pay attention, I'm using a rubber pad. If you don't have something like this, you can just stack up some extra leather. Um, but it's very important that you have something underneath there because the blade has to pass through so this you know I can get the razor into this if it's a hard surface a really hard surface and the blade can't go any further you're just going to have a tiny pinprick opening on the underside and that's going to make your prongs very difficult to set all right and we're almost done on just this one side and I suppose this will probably have about a dozen studs on it now putting pyramids in by hand I think is you know, it's a brutal difficult thing to do. It's very hard to do. Um, you know, if you're working on a big project and you're doing lots of stud patterns, um, you can sit there for hours and hours busting your hand. Now pay attention here. This is important. So you've watched me go down one side. We're going to work on this other side. Before I do, I'm going to change my blade. And because it's this type of a razor blade, all I have to do is flip it around. I might have gotten a few more um, cuts out of it before I flipped it, but I just want to show you that, look, it's not very hard to do. Don't be cheap with your blades. And it will make things a lot easier for you, less risk of slipping and cutting yourself. Um, so instead of moving my hand over like this, I really want to move this over here. That way I keep the same angle. Because that, and that's where you can run into a problem. If, you're, if you've got your hand and you're going this way and then you just move your hand over, you, you do have a slightly different angle now. So make a conscious effort to move the material under your hand where that was at. We'll fast forward a little bit and get down to the end. All right, now it might look like I've really butchered this, but I really haven't. It's gonna look really clean. Uh, and that's one of the major differences from using the razor blade 
instead of an all because you're going to get less crimping, less noticeable um, marks and damage on the edge of the leather. Um, now, the other thing you want to do is turn it around and just go through it again one more time. This is going to really clear the path on the underside to make sure you got a nice even opening. We're not cutting a new, we're not making new marks on the top. We're just making sure that we've cut everything that when we went the other, when we went the other way, this was the stuff that was up against this side of the, of the blade. So it didn't get cut. All right. Where, where was I at? Out here. Now the fun part of course is when you start to put the pyramids in and remember move your move your material not your hand All right so now for the fun part make sure your prongs are nice and straight before you try to do this and we've put enough of a cut in each of these openings that we can make little adjustments to make sure things are just the way we want now look See how easy that goes in? Now, of course, I use a machine for all of my belts and things that I make professionally, but for you, um, this is a great way to do it because, you know, my hands aren't destroyed. I'm putting in, look at that, I've already got five of them in. And it goes really fast. And the final pyramid. All right, not too bad. Now for actually setting the prongs, what I use is a concave setting tool, but I don't use the concave end, I use the flat end here. You can use anything, this is just a piece of steel, it's just a steel rod. So see if you can find something like that if you don't have one of these. And you just make sure you got the, I kind of push down on the edge here, and then I fold it in. All right, prongs folded, pyramid set. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Like I said, um, for a quick, easy way, you know, when you're, when you're doing a lot of pyramids, you know, you're in it for the long haul, it's a lot of work. This takes some of the burden off of your hands, um, makes it more accurate, and is a lot easier to use. Remember, don't be cheap with your blades. Change them frequently. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, I will answer them. And once again, I'm Matt Rezac from leatherpunk.com. Thanks for watching.